we are given that A, B and C are in harmonic progression. Which means that 1 upon A, 1 upon B, 1 upon C are in arithmetic progression. It therefore follows that 2 upon B is equal to 1 upon A plus 1 upon C. The right hand side can be written as A plus C upon AC and therefore B is equal to 2AC divided by A plus C. Now consider the left hand side of the inequality in the problem statement. That is A plus B divided by 2A minus B plus C plus B divided by 2C minus B. Substitute the value of B obtained above. We get A plus 2AC divided by A plus C divided by 2A minus 2AC divided by A plus C plus C plus 2AC divided by A plus C divided by 2C minus 2AC upon A plus C. This can be written as A times A plus C plus 2AC divided by 2A times A plus C minus 2AC. And the second term is C times A plus C plus 2AC divided by 2C times A plus C minus 2AC. In the first term, A cancels across the numerator and the denominator. And in the second term, C cancels across the numerator and denominator. This expression is therefore equal to A plus 3C divided by 2 times in brackets A plus C minus C plus 3A plus C divided by 2 times in brackets A plus C minus A. This simplifies to 1 upon 2AC times in brackets C times A plus 3C plus A times 3A plus C. This is equal to 1 upon 2AC times 3A square plus 3C square plus 2AC which can be written as 3 times in brackets A square plus C square plus 2AC divided by 2AC. Now we know that the arithmetic mean of two numbers is greater than or equal to their geometric mean. If we let those two numbers be a square and c square, then their arithmetic mean will be greater than or equal to their geometric mean. However, we are given that a and c are two different numbers. It therefore follows that the arithmetic mean of a square and c square will be strictly greater than their geometric mean because the equality applies only when the two numbers are the same. Therefore follows that a square plus c square upon 2 is strictly greater than the square root of a square c square and therefore a square plus c square is strictly greater than 2ac. Now going back to the expression derived above We've proved that in the numerator a square plus c square is greater than 2ac and therefore this whole expression is greater than 3 times 2ac plus 2ac divided by 2ac. ac cancels across the numerator and denominator and this is equal to 8 upon 2 which is equal to 4. Therefore, to summarize, we have established that A plus B divided by 2A minus B plus C plus B divided by 2C minus B is strictly greater than 4, which is the required result.